Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you are here today. I kind of have, I'm excited about this one. It's been a while since I've done a face palette video and I'm very excited about the ones that I have today. These are all ones that I bought pretty much over the holidays in 2022. So I've gotten them all very recently. Some of them I didn't get until January. So I'm getting them up as fast as I can after I have tested them all out. So today, instead of doing a four for four, I'm doing a five and um, it's just, I've tested out every single shade in each of these palettes, have thoughts and opinions on them and wanted to share. So first up we have from Charlotte Tilbury, this is the Pillow Talk Beautifying Face Palette. It has two blushes and two highlighters in it. Then I have the Tarte, oh, what was this one it's called? Precious Gems, and this has five blushes and one bronzer in it. I love the packaging on this, like, oh. Packaging this year was amazing. Then I have uh, from Physicians Formula, this is the Breakfast Club. I was like, what is the name of that movie? The Breakfast Club, this is the Saturday Detention. It has two highlighters, two blushes, and two bronzers in it. And yes, I did get it on clearance. They were remodeling uh, the store that was carrying these because I've seen it at other stores in the same chain and they were been full price with the regular display but for some reason they decided to mark this one way down which I was very happy about finally I have two of the ambient lighting palettes from hourglass I have the butterfly one which is supposed to be the lightest and then you had like the more medium tone which was the elephant I'm kind of regretting not getting the tiger if I ever see the tiger I mean I might still end up picking up the tiger even though I know it's probably a little too dark for me but I just I love hourglass products and I just think they're so pretty. So I loved the packaging this year with the three different palettes. Before I start s swatching and getting into it, uh, please do consider subscribing if you haven't already subscribed. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And let me know if you've tried any of these, if there's another face palette that you think I should get, um, anything that you wanna see a review on, let me know down below. Okay, let's start with the oldest palette. Uh, this is the first one I use. This is the Precious Gems palette, and this is from Tarte obviously and it's an Amazonian clay it does not give uh, a breakdown on the back but there are five blushes and one bronzer in there you have the Park Avenue princess uh, Lux gemstone polished refined and faucet facet uh, as you can see I've been using especially that bronzer I used oh, quite a bit because I took this one um, when I visited my aunt over Thanksgiving I took this with me and this was my face palette for that entire time and I have thoughts all right, so these are all the Amazonian clay formula. I do really enjoy the Amazonian clay formula. I have a whole bunch of singles. I have other palettes from Tarte and I wasn't, the past couple of years I haven't purchased anything from Tarte for their holiday really, but when this came out, I was like, the packaging is so gorgeous. And I knew I liked the formula and I liked the color range in here. And I do like Park Avenue Princess as a bronzer. It is a very nice bronzer if I'm going to wear a bronzer. I mean. I started wearing bronzer. I was not used to it before. Uh, like 2021 is when I started wearing it on a re the regular. And that was just because I was trying to use up some products. And now I'm, I'm still trying to use up products, but I have bought a couple bronzers here and there. So here we go with the swatches. So this is the top row and this is the bottom row with the bronzer, which is opposite because of the mirror. There are very pretty colors in here. This I didn't feel like was quite as good of quality as the normal Tarte formula. They were a little harder to blend it to work into the skin. They weren't, uh, like they just were a little harder to work through. Here they all are blended out. Um, we'll blend out the bronzer a little bit too. So they are pretty light. I found that they were kind of patchy though. It could have been the brush that I was using. I used a different brush and it worked a little bit better, but I did struggle with this palette. I don't think it is the best quality there is. Um, I think it's okay, but I was disappointed in this. This is not, this isn't as good as a lot of the other Tarte palettes that I've gotten in the past. So be aware of that. If it was on clearance, I think it would be great. I got this one on a discount with like my Macy's dollar. So I got a kind of significant discount on it, but I would not pay full price. I think it was like $39 or something like around there. So it was okay. It just, it's not my favorite. And it's not one that I would say that you missed out on if you didn't end up picking it up or if you've been thinking about picking it up now that things are on sale. I don't think it's necessarily something 
that uh, you should have FOMO over. We're gonna go with my most recent palette. This one I ordered uh, the day after Christmas. It was a big sale from Space NK. And then over a week later they said, oh, that's out of stock. And I was like, okay. But what was weird was they didn't refund my money. And I had done Afterpay on it because it was like $60 instead of 85. So it was like a significant discount, like 25 or 30%, something like that. And that's why I ordered it because I had wanted it, but it was it was too expensive for me to like justify getting more than one of these. And so I was like waiting and waiting and then I reread it and it said that they didn't know when it was going to come back in stock. And I was like, but it's a, a limited edition holiday that nobody else has. Are you sure you're going to get it back in stock? And then the next following week they did end up sending it. So it was weird. It was a trip I have never ordered from Space NK before. So it was a little different. I have multiples of these. I purchased many of these over the years. I probably have three or four of them. Um, I had like the white marble one and the purple one. Do I have any other ones? I can't remember. Um, but for a couple years, I wasn't bu buying them because there's a lot of repeats um, or they're so pretty. I don't tend to reach for them as much as I should. So this is the ambient lighting and this is uh, unlocked butterfly. I don't know. Uh, so. You have two finishing powders. You have uh, ethereal light and diffused light, and then you have two strobe powders and two blushes. I just dropped that, and I was so afraid it was going to like crumble to pieces or like land and break. It did not, thank goodness. So yes, you have your two powders, uh, setting powders. You have two blushes and you have two highlighters. Uh, my chest is like pounding. So I'm actually wearing this today. I'm wearing this blush shade and it is intense. And I try to um, go in lightly and then this side was okay. This side always seems to go like absolutely crazy and I'm not really sure why. And then I tried to, uh, you know, buff it out with a little setting powder. And then I do have uh, this highlighter on, it's on my nose and my Cupid's bow and then on uh, my cheeks. So I'm not swatching the two setting powders because they're not going to tell you anything with that anyway. But here we go. We have the two highlighters and the two blushes. To me, when I saw the advertising for these, I thought this was supposed to be the light option. And then the elephant was like the medium and the tiger was the dark. This doesn't scream to me a light toned palette. I mean, the highlighters both work for me. I do think the highlighters are both beautiful, but the blushes are so intense and I struggled like both days. I was like, oh my gosh, I have overdone it with blush and it, they were difficult to rein back, which is never a good thing. Like you don't want to have too much blush. I want some blush. Like I do love blush and there's times when like if my blush like I, I, I missed blush for a while, like when it was being covered up by masks. But um, yeah, these two blushes are very hard to work with in my opinion. It's, they're so pigmented. I really struggled to, with them. I want, I'm gonna play with it some more and keep working with it, but oh my gosh. Not the easiest blushes if you are light skin tone like myself, but the highlights are absolutely beautiful. These two are kind of like, eh, I would rather them put like a bronzer in here or another highlight or something instead of the setting powders because I feel like they're just stuck in there for no reason. And this isn't as versatile of a palette as the elephant. So we have the elephant here and this one is says exactly the same thing except it says elephant. But if you look in here, you only have one setting powder. So Actually, no, it does have two. I think I was using one of these setting powders as a, as a highlighter. So these two are supposed to be setting powders. You're supposed to have a dim light and soft light or soft, yeah, dim light, soft light. And then you have a uh, bronzer, a highlight, and then two blushes, which are very different in their tones. I'm gonna swatch them next to each other so you can kind of see the difference in the tones between these two palettes. Okay, so we have the butterfly on this side and then on this side we have the elephant. As you can see, like the blushes are uh, much lighter in the elephant even though it's supposed to be a slightly darker. And then the highlight or the bronzer in there, like it definitely works on my skin tone and can work. And even the highlighter is that much darker than the one that's in the elephant. 
I mean, and the butterfly, okay, maybe it is a little darker. So up here is the butterfly and then that's the elephant. But I feel like the elephant is a more well-rounded palette and one that was easier for me to work with. It didn't feel as overwhelming and everything blended in. Um, I didn't feel like I was struggling with having too much color on my face with when I didn't want that extra color. Like it built up a little bit better. It didn't feel overwhelming like the butterfly did. So with this palette, I really did enjoy the two blushes and the bronzer. I would have preferred like a second highlighter in here. The, the, the setting powders are okay and I should use them more, but I personally find it difficult in this type of a format to use the setting powders or the finishing powders because I'm used to having a big brush, you know, a fluffy brush to set my makeup and it does, it isn't very conducive in this form, in this format to have a setting powder like that. So I don't love that aspect of it, but I do think this is a very nice palette. And if I was going to recommend you getting one of them, I would say go for the elephant over the butterfly. And I, I, I kind of want the tiger still, but it might be like the butterfly overwhelming on my face. Next up we have Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Pelotoff Beautifying Face Palette. I mean, look at how gorgeous the packaging is on this. It has that uh, marbled kind of look underneath. It's just stunning. And uh, seeing this packaging in person, I was just taken aback. I saw this and I was like, oh, it's so pretty. And then I saw some reviews that were like, it, it's not good, don't get it. And I was like, oh no, I really wanted it. And I hemmed and hawed about this one a lot because this one retails for $75. I forgot to say the Hourglass palettes retail for 85 and I forgot to tell. So this palette I used, I had a $100 Rouge Reward that I was trying to debate what to get. So I did end up using a, a big chunk of that $100 on this and then I got a Natasha Denona palette that was on uh, Markdown. That was the two things. So um, technically I didn't pay for this one because of that uh, redeeming for rewards. I already said that the other one was uh, on major sale. This one that was normally $75, I did, they, they had a Sephora deal where if you used Afterpay or Klarna, you could get 25% off of your purchase on like Cyber Monday if you used Afterpay or Klarna. And so that's what I did. So I got 25% off of this palette. I swatched it in store before I made the decision to order it. And I watched several reviews and they were like kind of all panning this saying it wasn't very good but then some of them changed their mind and decided that it was a good palette I actually like I went by their reviews and I was nervous but when I swatched it I was like oh they just look so pretty and I had really wanted something like this from Charlotte Tilbury and it was just so beautiful so I decided to go for it and I do not regret getting this whatsoever this is uh, a more everyday type of a palette. I don't think it's blinding. It's the blushes just blended in so beautifully and they just applied so beautifully. I really enjoyed the blushes. Um, I wasn't using like one of my denser blush brushes on it. I don't know how it would apply with like my Real Techniques blush brush that's very thick and dense. Um, but the lighter blushes, blush, blush brushes were really nice and I really love those highlighters too. They are just, you know, glowy enough that they have a presence, but they don't look over, like, they look work appropriate. Like I think this would be a good everyday type of palette that would just make you feel a little bit special. So yes, I do love this palette. Um, you have two beautiful blushes and two beautiful highlighters. I like the blushes more than the highlighters, I will say that, but I don't know what the other people were thinking when they first tried it. Maybe they were expecting something different because this is my first experience with uh, these type of products from Charlotte Tilbury and I really love it. And I think it was, you know, would I have paid $75 for it? No, definitely needed that 25% off to justify it. All right, let's talk our last palette. This is the Physicians Formula Breakfast Club. They had two of these. This is volume one, I believe, and it is, yeah, it says volume one on it. This is Saturday Detention. As you can see, I paid $9.29. I haven't figured out how to get the tag off of it. It left sticky stuff on the back here and some residue. This one had one of those like uh, anti-theft tags on the back of it underneath the sticker. So that's why I 
actually tried to peel it off on the back. It also, I don't know if you can tell, but it like bubbled up part of the writing. So I don't want that to happen. We'll see. And then inside there is no mirror, but it does have pictures of Molly Ringwald and the Breakfast Club. Full, disclo full disclosure, I'm not a big fan of the Breakfast Club. It is not my favorite of the 80s movies. Um, I love Emilio Estevez because to me, he will always be Gordon Bombay. But it it's an okay movie. It's not one. It's not. I'm not a super fan of it. So this was not a collection I was like had on my radar. Especially this palette is normally $18.49, which is quite expensive for the drugstore. But it does have uh, two bron two bronzers, two blushes, and two highlights, and they're all in a good shade range. I feel they're not too light. They're not too like they all look cohesive. They're not trying to like do four different ranges and in, in the same palette now it does have embossing in all but like there's a little bit of embossing in this one but let's see can you see it does say sincerely yours the breakfast club there's like a little uh note in this one and a paper trail since i'm not a super fan i was not i didn't feel the need to preserve the embossing on it or the patterns and i just kind of dug into it so here we go. We have the two highlighters up top. We have the two blushes and the two bronzers. The blushes are probably the things that need to be built up the most in this palette. And then the highlighters are pretty striking. I liked both of the highlighters. The blushes actually were very pretty. I did enjoy wearing them. And I liked both of the bronzers too. I felt like, you know, both of the bronzers worked with my skin tone. This one would probably be, you know, more this time of year. And then this one, I don't really tan, but um, they both, they didn't look terrible on my skin. They didn't look uh, too out of place. I could blend them out pretty easily. So I, I think this is an actually really nice palette. And if you like, I like how soft they are. I liked how easy they went on, which was really nice after struggling a little bit with some of the other palettes. But yeah, I think this is a really nice one. Now, before I tell you my ranking, I want to know what your ranking is. And then I also want to know if you have any of these palettes. Let me know down below and then let's get into the ranking. Straight up, I'm not going to declutter any of these. I um, I like them all enough to keep them and or, and or I'm not going to give away a very, very expensive palette. Because the, the one that's my least favorite, I, I'm not going to declutter because it's brand new, but these are all brand new, but it would be the one in last place would be the one I'd be most likely to declutter if I would declutter any of them. All right. In last place is the palette I'm wearing. It is the Hourglass Butterfly Palette. I can't believe I'm putting this in last place. I have really enjoyed the Hourglass formula in the past. These are just so dark um, and so hard to work with. So these are not my favorite. Um, I like the highlighters well enough. The setting powders are whatever, but the two blushes are just were most the most difficult to work with. So it is in last place. But like I said, I'm not going to declutter any of these because this one was expensive, and um, I will get use out of it. I just will have to work with it a little bit more. In fourth place, I'm going to put the Tarte Precious Gems. I do like the bronzer in here, but the blushes were not the easiest to work with. They took a lot more to work in and to get an even look with. So not my favorite, not one that I would recommend to get. I would recommend the butterfly to purchase over this one, just, but only if you have like a deeper skin tone than I do, because if you're very pale like me, I wouldn't recommend either of these. In third place, I'm going to put right in the middle, the physician's formula. It's not because this is bad. Like this is a good one. I would recommend picking this one up or even there's a darker volume two is like a deeper, uh, deeper tones, but I really like how this works. It's just not as luxurious to me. I don't feel as excited to wear it. And I, you know, if I was a breakfast club fan, I probably enjoy this more, but it's, it's a good palette. It's a good staple one. And there's one that I could see like this would be a good one to, if you wanted to do a panning project, this would be a good one to pan because it would be easy to like work through um, and it wouldn't hurt as much as some of these other ones when you 
use things up. All right, in second place, we're putting the Charlotte Tilbury palette. I think this one is beautiful. I really do like it. I like the two highlighters. I like the two blushes. I think it is very beautiful. It is just barely edged out though by the elephant. This this one I was so pleasantly surprised with. I really enjoy the two blushes in here. I think they're so beautiful. I like this bronzer in here and the highlighter. So it just edged it out just, just a teensy bit uh, above the Charlotte Tilbury, but both of them I really enjoyed and I'm very happy that I have both of them. And if I ever like panned them, I'd be sad. That is it for my uh, face palettes. These are all the ones that I purchased recently. So I probably won't be buying any face palettes for a while. I don't, haven't seen anything coming out so far this year. I mean, the year is young. Who knows what will happen in the summer or in the fall with holiday releases. But for now, I am content with my collection. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.